As the German occupation of southern Greece begins to break up under the onslaught of British land forces and local partisans, ships of the Royal Navy and destroyers of the Greek Navy head shoreward through the waters of the Aegean. They carry large forces of troops to put an end to another chapter of Nazi tyranny and oppression. The dawn of liberation for Athens. Under cover of darkness, the warships had anchored off the Piraeus, and when light came, the troops entered harbor. Try to imagine the feelings of these people as they watch our men disembarking to bring freedom to the Greek capital. The Nazis had warned the Greeks that if they allowed the British forces to pass on the way to Athens, the city would be completely destroyed. But once more the Germans had made a threat they could not carry out. Almost the only damage to buildings our troops saw were the ancient ruins on the Acropolis. After long years of alien rule, the Greek flag is openly and ceremoniously displayed. These Greek beauties can smile freely again. It is a joyous yet solemn moment as the Greek Prime Minister, for so long an exile, returns to Athens and hoists the flag on the highest point overlooking the city. From the flagstaff, which only a short while before bore the hated swastika, these pictures taken from a moving jeep show scenes of rejoicing in the streets of Athens. Scenes of wild joy, reminiscent of those in Paris, Brussels, and the other cities liberated by the Allies. The Athenians have obviously taken Mr. Churchill to their heart, and our Tommy has come in for some well-earned praise as well. Tanks and armoured vehicles roll through the city streets, for even in the moment of rejoicing, it must not be forgotten that the Germans are still a few short miles to the north, and it's the job of our troops to keep them on the run. The cheers of a grateful people mark the climax of 22 memorable days during which half Greece has been liberated. The aggressors have been driven back, but not before they had inflicted three and a half years of untold suffering and privation on a brave nation. But in the hour of their joy, the people of Athens look not backward to the years of hunger, cruelty and humiliation, but forward to a future of hope and renewed freedom.